Professor Diaz here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the final determinant of demand, and that is expectations. Uh, the expectations that determine demand are really threefold. You can There can be future expectation about prices, future expectations about income, or future expectations about availability of a good or service, okay? And this one, again, is uh, it's not too hard to wrap your head around if you take the time to think about it, right? So think about a market, which is a group of buyers and sellers, and particularly we're talking about demand right now, so we're talking about the buyers. So think about a group of buyers, right? And this could be for any good or service, Let's just talk about uh, plane tickets for now as our example. So we'll talk about a group of buyers and they're gonna buy, uh, this is the market for plane tickets. Okay, plane ticks, plane ticks. Okay, um, if the expectation of this group of people is that the price of plane tickets is going to increase in the future, then what's gonna happen? Think about it, pause the video and think about it. If you expect the price of plane tickets to increase in the future, you're gonna be more prone to buy your plane tickets now, which is going to increase demand, right? It's gonna shift demand out, which is gonna increase demand. This is if you expect prices to rise. If you expect prices to fall in the future, what are you gonna do? You're gonna to wait to buy your ticket, right? And so this is gonna cause prices to, or uh, sorry, demand to fall. If you think, if your expectation is that prices will fall in the future, this will decrease demand, right? Income, your expectations of income is the next big um, a category in expectations, if you will. If you think you're gonna get a big raise, or if you think you're gonna get a big stimulus check, your demand is gonna generally increase. You're gonna start spending money. If you think hard times are coming and there's a lot of layoffs at your job, you may decrease spending, right? Uh, which is gonna decrease demand. So expectations about future income can be a determinant of demand. And lastly, availability, right? If there's a shortage of toilet paper, then when that's going to increase, you, you expect that you know, toilet paper is gonna be in shortage for a while, that's gonna increase demand because you're afraid it's not gonna be available, more people are gonna buy it, that's gonna actually make the shortage worse. Or if you think, nah, there's gonna be plenty of toilet paper, there's gonna be plenty of this good or service, it's a, it's a dime a dozen, like when certain crops are in season, for example, that may decrease demand because there's not as much uh, need to get it. Right? There was a, an instance where there was a plane flight from one city to another, and they were going to cancel that, that particular route. Right, As soon as they told the public that they were gonna cancel that route, people were like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to go visit that place. And uh, ironically, demand for that flight increased. Right, And so expectations about future availability will determine uh, demand. It will either increase it or decrease it. Right, uh, Last time, I'm gonna emphasize this in the determinants of demand. Remember the difference. Uh, if the whole curve shifts, this is considered a change in demand because it's a change for the quantity demanded at every price point, right? If there's a change in price from here to here, which moves the line like this, this is not a change in demand, that's just a change in quantity demanded, right? And so remember the difference between a change in demand and these are the determinants of demand, these last five things that we've talked about. These are the things that will actually shift the curve out or in. If there's just a price change, that's just going to move the, the quantity, the, the, the quantity demanded. It's not gonna actually change the demand. So I hope that all makes sense. Make sure you let me know if you have questions and we're gonna move on to the next topic.